Trader Joe's bagels, the best store-bought bagels on the market, and they're pre-whipped cream cheese. Mwah. So today, guys, the governor of California shut down restaurants again, a couple days before 4th of July weekend, and I try to remain positive here, but imagine all the businesses, small businesses included, that have literally been shut down for months. He finally gave restaurants the green light to open last week or two weeks ago something like that and now they have to shut down again which means and i know this firsthand talking to people they just trained all these new employees because the other employees are still on unemployment so they don't care about their jobs so you got that and then you have all of the perishables that these restaurants have ordered probably using loans that they got from the federal government or elsewhere, probably maxed out their credit cards. And now they are shut down. They can, if they have a patio, they can serve people on the patio, but that's it. So anyway, the decisions that the politicians are making, uh, I believe are reckless, incredibly reckless. Um, I believe that more people in two years, more people are going to have died of starvation, suicide, we're talking worldwide. There are a lot of third world countries that depend on our, our food chain, our supply chain, and uh, that's not gone to anybody. So we're going to talk about, we're talking about tens of millions of people are going to die of starvation. Um, small businesses are going under. Uh, the stock market, yes, it's going back up, but those are large companies. Small businesses will be null and void probably in about a decade. That's my perception. Anyway. I know it's a little bit dark, but you know what? In this day and age, I don't think anybody's looking out for us. I really don't. I don't think anybody's looking out for us. You get a rich guy in a mansion, he ain't looking out for you. I truly believe that. 5'11", Ogden Nash. Progress might have been all right once, but it has gone too long. Progress has gone too long. Eh, all right. 5'12". Alec Ewell Thornton. I consider exercise vulgar. It makes people smell. Ooh, I think he might be right. 513. Gore Vidal. There is no human problem which could not be solved if people would simply do as I advise. In other words, do what I tell you and you'll be okay, says Gore Vidal. Okay, Gore. 514. What's on your mind, if you would allow the overstatement? <laughs> Fred Allen. 515. George Santayana. The young man who has not wept is a savage. The old man who will not laugh is a fool. Ha 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 ha! Ain't fooling me today. 516. Shakespeare. Though I am not naturally honest, I am so sometimes by chance. 517, James Thurber. Early to rise and early to bed makes a male healthy, wealthy, and dead. Early to rise and early to bed makes a male healthy, wealthy, and dead. <sighs> All right. We're going to end it with that one today. We've got some other goodies for you tomorrow, and I um, hope you guys have a nice day, and I'm sure mine will brighten up. Uh, as long as, uh, as long as you don't try to go out to a restaurant, <laughs> you'll be okay. Stay indoors, keep your mask on, and uh, stay grounded. Be happy being grounded. You'll be fine.